For the next 48 hours, I'll be living in a cheap capsule hotel and showing you all how I work, eat, sleep, exercise, shower, socialize, and relax. I'll be showing you all the different types of capsules and how much each one costs per night. Back in 1979, the world's first capsule hotel was opened, called the Capsule Inn Osaka in Japan. Since then, the concept has spread around the world and is now recognized as a cheap alternative to hotels, but offering way more privacy than a hostel. I've always been fascinated by the concept and I ended up in this place completely by random Random, which you'll find out why in my next video. But for now, I'll be taking you inside a capsule hotel to show you what it's really like. Uh, okay. Ow. Room number 314. 314. Just scan your card, like you do have a hotel. Whoa. This is a capsule hotel, it's my first time. I'm effectively in a human dog kennel. Let's get some power in this bitch. Insert to gain power. Oh, we have light. All right, it's really not even small in here. I did accidentally book a double room. It's hella spacious in here and I've got room for a guest. Could you imagine me bringing a girl back here? This is the entrance to the pod. You've obviously got your door. Up here is a little fan, which is so essential. This capsule would not be smelling good if there wasn't a fan. I think I'd also run out of oxygen after a while. We then have some lovely art uh, of a person. It's stuck to the wall. I can't even steal it. And then on this side, you have the all important insert to Gain power. Power gained. You have some instructions right here in order to activate. Bloody blah. Please refrain from lighting matches, uh, candles. <laughs> Moving along the room tour, we have a hook. <laughs> this is the built in shower. You just need to light a cigarette and uh, it will turn on. Right here is the control panel. There is a plug, an Ethernet port. Don't know what that's for. Is that a speaker? Is there speakers in here? No. These are for your lights and then you can control how bright you want them. This little knob is to control your fan. You then have two USB ports which are pretty redundant now. Your little reading light and then another plug socket up here. There is one final thing to show you guys inside the pod. I have never seen this in a capsule hotel before. <laughs> Look at that, it's got a sea view. Golden hour from my pod, that is just amazing. <laughs> So now it's time to try get changed in the pod. I'll have to blur it out because it is just too embarrassing to watch. It is a little bit awkward to change, but not the hardest thing I've ever done. And there's even enough space to do push-ups and sit-ups. But now I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna run up the beach. When we get back, I'm gonna have to test out the shower facilities. How I've literally had a blister up all week. It's not been pretty. This run is probably not gonna be enjoyable. So that right there is actually the hotel. As you can see, the O Hotel. Oh my God, I literally, the dog just attacked me dog just like jumps towards me tries to bite my leg 10k complete i feel great well i don't feel great but mentally i feel good physically no okay so i'm now gonna go have a very very needed shower the showers are actually quite nice it wasn't really that busy the shampoo slash body wash slash conditioner clearly was a bit questionable um but hey i'm not in a five-star hotel had a great shower i even turned it to cold I finally cleaned myself, that was well overdue. I did wash this morning, that makes me sound dirty. No, I didn't actually, it was last night. I now have another problem which I need to overcome. I have completely run out of clean clothes. I'm pretty sure they can do your laundry here. Let's try get this sorted. How do I do my laundry? What's the, what I need to do? No, they should already collect it only for today. They've already collected it today? The next tomorrow morning? Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, no worries, thank you. It's not looking good. I 
have left the hotel, I'm going out to find somewhere to eat. Everywhere here is super expensive, so I'm gonna try to find somewhere that isn't too expensive. They do have vending machines in the hotel, but I need sustenance, I need some proper food. So I went for a walk and came across this little bar restaurant down a random street. I ordered myself a burger whilst watching the goat himself. Overall, great vibes, great burger. I then sketchily rode a lime scooter back home with one hand before going to the communal sinks, brushing my teeth and heading back to my little pod. As you can see, I've well and truly made myself at home. I promise this isn't piss. It's like some vitamin stuff. This bed is actually really comfy and I kind of like this small space. Like, it's really cozy. This time, the Europeans back. Do you know it was a good sleep when you wake up and you're happy looking like this? Oh my god, get up. Good morning. I hope they can't see us. Slept for about 8 hours 30. Is it warm enough to wear shorts? Currently 22 degrees. Definitely. Let's not talk about the fact I'm having to re-wear my clothes, okay? I literally haven't got a choice. <laughs> So this pod is the perfect size for me. I have so much space. There is quite a few people that are sharing these double pods. I don't think there's enough space for two people to maneuver around in here. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So if you're wondering what kind of food you can get in the hotel, it's just vending machines. That's pretty much it. There is this Ben & Jerry's ice cream machine, which is pretty random. There is also no Ben & Jerry's at all. You then get all the drinks here. There's some water, fizzy drinks, energy drinks. There's then a coffee machine, which has grape soda and apple soda. Super random. And then this is about it for the food, really. There's some crisps, noodles. You also have a phone charger and some toothbrushes and toothpaste. Pretty much everything you need snack-wise, but it's not going to get you through a day. You have to go outside to find food somewhere else. <laughs> And there's also a water machine for hot and cold water. It's interesting. I can tell it's from a vending machine. So obviously with the pods being the size they are, you need to have some kind of common area. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour and show you around. It's usually quite busy, but for some reason no one is here right now. So on this side you have this lovely bed. It actually feels really comfy. I honestly wouldn't mind sleeping here. And then you have all of these benches along the window. Obviously with a view out onto the beach, which is just amazing. You then have some more tables and chairs. And there is multiple different sections where the pods are. As you can see, this area is section A. And then on either side there are stairs going up to the different sections. This is where I've just been sat doing some work. My section is literally just down here. Section B, this is where I have been staying. These are all the double pods with the sea view. If I take you guys around here, these are like the communal sinks where you could just brush your teeth or anything you're not doing completely naked. With each pod, you basically have your own locker in case you have more luggage. Out here, you have the smoking area slash sun deck. It's actually really nice out here. The view is amazing. The weather here is so good. 22 degrees at the end of November. Anyways, coming back inside, this is the main communal area. Through here, you have a mini table tennis table and just on the left, all the vending machines, which I showed you all earlier. The manager told me in about an hour, he'll let me look around some of the other pods. Four, five, six, Six different types. This one. Oh wow, so this is like an actual room this one. So there's a double bed, you've actually got space to move around and then is there a... These pods actually have their own kind of private balcony. Yeah, super spacious in here. These are nice. This is one of the double sea view pods which I'm staying in. This is the same as mine but just without the sea view. So this is a single tool pod again with the sea view. Ah, and then yeah, this is the same but just without the sea view. So this is the standard single one, which doesn't look too small, but I prefer the double. I imagine that is the cheapest one as well. We're going through the last time. Yeah, so this one is like a whole hotel room just without the unnecessary space. I did not expect there to be that many pods in the hotel. This place must make so much money. The amount of rooms you can fit compared to a standard hotel is insane. It's just such a cool place. So it's now dark outside. You know when you're meant to do something and you just go on your phone for one minute and an hour and a half later, you're still scrolling. I'm now gonna head outside and go on another run. That's my idea of fun, okay? I am so tired. I have only eaten that croissant today. My stomach is very empty. Run complete. Now to go back to the hotel and get some food. Okay, so I just ordered myself a Domino's. Wow, look how good that looks. I need some calories.
It is now my final night sleeping in the pod. I was just watching the football outside on this guy's laptop. Would I recommend you guys stay in a capsule hotel? Absolutely. I don't mind sleeping in this small space because all I do in this space is sleep. For the most part, I'm in the shared spaces. The showers are nice and it's really good value for money. Leave a comment right now and try and guess how much this capsule costs per night. I'm gonna tell you guys how much it costs when I leave tomorrow. I don't think any of you guys are gonna get it. One last thing before I go to bed, I've just realized I can actually measure the pods. So um, up here. So apparently the height is 98 centimeters. And then the length is two meters. So um, even for you really tall ones out there, you'll be good. Good night, my friends. So it's almost time for me to check out. There is one last thing I need to do. I need to fit all of this stuff right here into my backpack. It's not going to be easy. Mission success. The bag is packed. It is now time to leave this pod. Goodbye pod hotel. It has been very real. And as for prices, I paid £62 a night for my capsule. But pause now if you want to see all the other prices. It is quite expensive, but it's an expensive city. So let me know what you think. And as always, I'll see you soon.